Hello everyone. Thank you for coming back to Mary's little house. So happy to have you. The pets are all asleep again. Uh, I, I am so grateful that you've come. It's, it's the fifth Sunday of Lent. We're getting closer to Easter. Only one more Sunday and, and then there'll be Easter Sunday. So we're on the home stretch with our Lenten uh, retreat. The whole church goes on retreat for 40 days to prepare for the holiest week of, of the church's year, the week that changed the world for good, uh, uh, the week of our, our Lord's passion and death, ending up with his triumphant uh, victory over sin and death, the, his resurrection from the dead, leaving the, a tomb empty and all our tombs empty, when he comes to judge the living and the dead. I'm so happy you are here. This morning, uh, uh, I was sitting in my pew waiting for Mass to start. I was early and I saw a friend very much in distress come down my aisle. Looked like she was crying. So I motioned to her, uh, she was heading for me, so I motioned to her to come outside and sit and the, one of the church benches out in the uh, in front of the church there at the Shrine of Our Lady of the Snows and she was crying and she was going through a whole lot she's championing veterans veterans who aren't very well taken care of and she's trying to establish a house for them uh, just a simple dwelling for those who are falling through the cracks She's very dedicated. I told her she's like Florence Nightingale when all the soldiers were coming in and needing help and wounded it, uh, and she established a, 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 a place for them to really get good care. And she's doing that for the veterans. The veterans are so neglected. I don't know what wrong with our country that we don't take better care of our veterans. But anyway, uh, she's she's that's her work uh, there was someone really causing all kinds of commotion for her and and so she cried and shared her story and I tried to comfort her and then mass was starting and then we heard the gospel she was in another place I, I looked over she was way in the, uh, two sections from me but I saw her crying during mass too anyway uh, the gospel you know what the gospel was i won't quiz you you know what it is it was the 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 uh raising uh, uh, uh lazarus from the dead um uh, lazarus you know was a good friend of jesus they, they lived in bethany just a couple of miles from uh, from uh, jerusalem in fact you can see bethany and Jer um, jerusalem when you're in a certain place uh I think it's Mount Nebo. You can see them; they're so close. Anyway, to a couple of miles. Anyway, Jesus and the disciples were already stopping at Lazarus's house, and Lazarus had two lovely sisters. You know who they are, Mary and Martha. Well, Mary and Martha sent for Jesus that Lazarus was really sick, that he was dying, and come and hurry up and come. But Jesus tarried about two days, and. Uh, and and uh, uh, then he said, "Let's go." Well, Lazarus had already died. They had the funeral, and he was in the tomb already. The tomb was well, the big rock was uh, over his tomb, closed, dead, cold, dead, stone, dead. Anyway, finally Jesus came, and and. And, and we know the story. Martha sort of chided him. If you'd have been here, Lord, he would have been all right. And then they had that big talk about the resurrection of the dead. Don't you? I am the resurrection and the life. Don't you believe that? And Martha said, yes, Lord. But that was little comfort to her. Uh, she knew that at the end of the world, we would, at the end of our lives, we would rise with him. She had that belief. She had a Because Jesus stopped there and talked to her and their sister, Remember their, that little tip they had with Mary in the front room with Jesus hanging on every word and Martha working so hard in the kitchen and how Jesus had to chide Martha. 
Martha, Martha, you are busy about many things, but Mary has chosen the better part. Not that Martha's part was bad or anything. She was hospitality. Mary was uh, more listening at God, the word of God. Anyway, um, Jesus loved those two. She loved Lazarus too. And you'll see how much he loved, loved them here as this goes on. Well, uh, the, Martha, they met Jesus outside the town. Or, uh, he wasn't right quite to the house or quite to the cemetery there either. So, so they had this conversation. And then someone, uh, Martha sent for Mary. And Mary ran out with a bunch of people who were thought, oh, well, they should go to pray at the tomb or something. And, and so they went out. And when Jesus saw that, let me just read it here. Um, when Mary came to the place where Jesus was, Seeing him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been there, here, here, my brother would never have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jewish folk who had accompanied her also weeping, listen to this, he was troubled in spirit and moved by the, by the deepest emotions. And he said, Where have you laid him? Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep and caused the Jews to remark, see how much he loved him. Okay, well, what does this have to do with, what, with my friend who is crying? And crying during Mass, too, I see her wipe her uh, eyes. Jeez, I, uh, Jesus wept. Jesus loved Mary so much and all those people. He had the deepest emotions. Remember who Jesus is now. He's God, the second person of the Blessed Trinity. He's, he's fully human. Remember what we said, the divine person, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, the Son of God, uh, became flesh with a heart that beats. He One person, divine person, the one that's been with the Father from eternity in the, his bosom, uh, uh, becoming flesh. One person, divine person, with two natures, the nature of God and the nature of man. He is man in everything except sin. So he has emotions, in the deepest emotion, he really felt for Mary. It just, it just moved him so much, and he, and he began to weep. Making the crowd, they noticed it. He really wept. It wasn't like a little a muffled thing. He really wept. And I thought of my friend over there on the other side of the... Of, of the of the shrine church weeping too that Jesus's tears and her tears were mixing that Jesus took upon himself all our sins and all the suffering that our sins caused all our tears and that her tears were Jesus's tears because he took on the her his, and continues to take all, her, all, all our sufferings even though he has risen in heaven but at the passion and death he took or all our our, our 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 sufferings all our stripes he for love of us all our tears he shed all our tears he's god he can do that as well as man be he could suffer oh okay after mass i said did you hear the gospel and she she sort of oh you know yeah uh well jesus cried with you jesus is crying with you now and jesus is with you jesus cares about you and loves you I, I think that that made her uh, happy. I think that it encouraged her to go back and deal with the, the situation with the veterans and with establishing this home. So let us, when, when we find ourselves in distress or someone else, Jesus sees us coming like Mary and these, these mourners that were following her. And Jesus will sit and cry with us and do something about it. Look what Jesus did about their, their grief. He told them to move that stone. Even Martha said, oh Lord, he's been in that tomb for um, for four days. It's going to smell. It's going to stink. And um, Jesus said, he kept on talking. He said, move that stone. And they did. Oh boy. And then all of a sudden, there was movement inside. And Lazarus was up with his his uh, oh his uh, burial cloth. And he, they, they wrap around. He said, unbind him. And uh, uh, uncover his face, and Lazarus, 
he restored Lazarus fresh and new and alive to his sisters uh, Mary and Martha to the amazement of all it said later on that that uh, the people uh, that uh, this caused many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did to put their faith in him so this was truly amazing but it was a response to the to the But it was a response to the, to the to Jesus, his, uh, um, to the love of Jesus for the, so so just know that when we cry, we don't cry alone. Jesus cries with us. God bless you now.